So Nellie Bly um, is a badass female journalist from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, she's so cool that she like faked insanity and like snuck into an insane asylum and like, brought down the system and like went around the world in 72 days and was like Jules Verne, like Jules Verne, like, you suck. <laughs> Less than 10 days to you. Um, so yeah, so that's a little background before this gets started. Nellie Bly was a journalist trying not to be defined by her gender. A female so often told to speak silence, Bly was a pioneer of ballsy and brazen and explorer, not in search of new geography, but in pursuit of smashing records just to get a vacation. She wanted to go around the world faster than any man, wanted to circumnavigate what it meant to hold two contradicting titles of an era, never settling to anchor in either one. We, we so often call ourselves by the labels others see fit, girls, aren't allowed to etch their own way, instead we're scarred over as we stuff our identities into pretty little boxes, each checking off beauty marks and style points. Our impulse to strive is snuffed out by a sexist fallacy. Girls chase boys. Girls chase money. Girls chase shoes and handbags and tiny little fluffy dogs. But when was the last time you've ever heard girls chase science? Girls chase engineering, chase boardroom power suit and flight. Nellie Bly, mirrored woman appeared to be all things malleable and in need of protection, but she never let the pages of the women's section mute her tempest mind, a twister of dreams and ambition. Bly had windswept determination, just like we all did. Because right now, right now, there's a girl playing with Hot Wheel cars with big eyes and pump fists thinking she's the next Danica Patrick or a future Julia Child eating perfectly made grilled cheese sandwiches and loving tomato soup in the winter time. Sally Ride looked up at the sky one day and said, I belong up there. At 16, I wrote an article in the school newspaper trying to take down the English department because I got an F on a paper I'd written about heroin addiction. We are all Nellie Bly at some point. We may not have infiltrated insane asylums or raced around the world, but underneath our soft flesh and delicate we all have the grit to traverse beyond expectations, and isn't that what an explorer does? We fix our legs to sprint in the direction of pioneer, regardless of the fact that we have no idea where the finish line is. Nellie Bly took one little bag, one enormous heart, around the world in 72 days, six hours, 11 minutes and 14 seconds, she broke records and said, damn the man, with every mile she put behind her explorers. Women cannot be defined by the predetermined expectations that against us by those who will call failure before we even draw out our first step. Girls, our history made every time we decide not to shelter, we belong in the books as writers of our own stories, seeking out new ground, new journeys, new paths, rivers, oceans, every new mile marker a testament to our will to press on forward. Thank you.